Hello. This time, I'd like to say a few words about sync symbols to timeline. It's a simple, single-use command, which is also extremely frequently used. Shortcut key is forward slash. To give you a better understanding of what the command does, I need to present the problem that the command actually solves. So what we have here is a graphic symbol that contains a number of frames. I've added numbers to those frames so that we can identify them easily. If I create a few keys, as we could see now, frame number one on the inside coincides with frame number one on the main timeline. Frame 10 coincides with frame 10 and so on and so on. If I'd like to retime parts of this animation, I can easily slide these keys to the left and to the right. What we end up with is a sequence that's now off sync. So frame number 10 now coincides with frame number 6. So if what we had inside was a walk cycle or some other animation, the flow of that animation will break. The way to fix it normally would be to click on the symbol and then type in the number of the frame. 6 here, 15 here and so on. What Sync Symbols to Timeline does is that it takes care of all this manual input. You can select the whole layer just like this or you can select a bunch of frames and press forward slash. Now as you can see all these were synced. However some people might want to point out that there's a default sync checkbox in flash and that is true. The keys are separated by these vertical bars. If I click on the tween and we'll look at the tween box properties here we can notice a little sync checkbox if i choose a few frames and enable syncing you see how those vertical bars disappeared now if i slide this frame to the right and this frame also to the right you can see even though i move the frame to the right the number stays synced so the animation stays synced with the main timeline. Well, that's all, that's all good and simple, but there are some things that we can't really do with synced symbols, such as symbol swapping. If I'd like to swap a symbol in a synced key, you can see nothing happens. I can swap it here very easily. So if I need to swap a symbol, the symbol key must not be synced. My only option is to retime and then sync manually by typing 32 or by pressing forward slash to use sync symbols to timeline. And the other problem of course is that default syncing only works during tweens. So if your keys are just keys but there's no tween there is no such option to sync with the default flash setting. Now let me give you two real world examples for such uh, use of the command. In a situation where we have a camera, well, this is a, a container serving as the camera and inside we have our animation. If I say I would like to see if this little vertical pan while the ducks are leaping in the air would look better if it's a few frames longer, I can add a couple of frames so it happens a little bit slower and what I end up with, these three, will get out of sync. As you can see, 295 and now this is 297 and so on. Now the quickest way to fix this would be to press slash and we're back in sync. All these little retimings can be done and fixed with a single 
press of a button. Same thing happens on the inside. If we have facial expression animation inside the head symbol, all the facial expressions, blinks and, and so on, they're always synced to the main timeline of the animation. If we'd like to retime a little portion here and there, all that we need to do, if we want this to be slower, I'll push it a few frames to the right. And then the head, the head would be off sync, as you can see, 345 and 342 here. So to bring it back to sync, I'll press forward slash. If I need to adjust the blinking or the change of facial expression on the inside, I'll have to add a couple of frames here. Well, this pretty much covers everything about sync symbols to timeline. Thanks for watching.